Watch post-fight interviews and unaired prelims only on UFC.com. Vanderlei is my hero. Obviously, before the fight, I didn't want to say he's always been my favorite fighter. And that's why I wanted to fight him. I didn't think I was going to win, I'm not going to lie. I didn't tell my camp that, but I was like, I just really want to fight Vanderlei, and I know it'll be tough. I only visualized a three-round war. I never visualized a quick knockout because I knew that'd be impossible against him. I couldn't believe it would have happened. I'm still in shock. He cracked me with a good right. I felt it, and uh, then I just started wading forward. Like I said, I told him before, I said, Vandalay has never fought somebody that when they get hit, moves forward. When I get hit, I'm, I come straight at you. I'm floating, I'm floating right now. You know, I, I, I don't know what to say. I gotta, I gotta take it in, I gotta sit back, I gotta reevaluate, and I gotta figure out where the, where the f I'm at. <laughs> this fight shows, if you fight Chris Levin, I don't care who in the world you are, you need to train your ass off. It shows, I've had my ups and downs, but I'm the best of the best, and if you fight the best Chris Levin, you're gonna lose, every time.